Hi everybody, welcome back. At the end of episode two, I was expecting a, a classic foodie rage. I think I think we all were. Edge Lord living in your parents' basement, reading Kiwi Farms all day. But she'd been banned for a week because she'd been awful about another human being online, broke terms of service. I know nothing like foodie at all. Completely out of character. I don't know what was what was happening there. So to everybody who was expecting a foodie rage uh, and didn't get one. Uh, I'll try my hardest tonight for you. Why don't I apologize for my wrongdoings? Like what? When I saw Foodie having sympathy for predators, not just the friend who was one, but all predators, I thought, well, that's obviously the uh, the worst thing I'm going to see Foodie Beauty do. No, nowhere near. How is my past vile? Like what? Lion whispers in your ear. You're the reason daddy's not. In the last episode, we saw Foodie's first week with the uh, walking red flag we knew as Dom. So the Egyptian guy is very, is it like, I don't know if it's like all Egyptian men, but he's very um, pushy, like, like bossy, like tells me what to do. He got mad at me because I didn't want to go over like yesterday. That's the Egyptian guy. Okay, I gotta go. That guy is so pushy. It's so mad. It's already so toxic. I know there's gonna be red flags, but he gets so mad. Like, how come you took so long to get here? Why would a grown woman allow herself to be treated so terribly by another human being? I love men. I love male attention so bad. I love attention, like male attention. I think I'll always be like that, you know? She would get with Dom, and then it would be over. He's a liar. He's a f***ing liar. I hate liars. I hate liars. Then get back with him and, and they'd do the whole, oh, I'm done with him this time. Like, I can't be with somebody who doesn't answer my phone calls. Or texts. And it went on and on like this. Not at his place, but I miss him. <laughs> oh. I don't know how much longer I can hold out. Not only was Foodie on and off with Dom, but she was also off and on with her audience as well. I'm not going to talk about our relationship really at all, so... If that's what you're uh, looking for... You guys are leaving? Why? Don't leave me, guys. I need you guys right now. For real. One of your fans uh, messaged me the other night the... <sighs> what now? <clears throat> Saying she's concerned about the amount of weed you do. Oh. That it's uh, affecting your videos and your lives and everything. She likes you. I know. She's just concerned. At the time, everybody just wanted her out of harm's way. He's really mad I'm talking about him, so I don't want to talk about him anymore. This is such a mess. I need to get off live stream, you guys. Or I want to stay on live stream. I just 
just need a minute, okay? One of the, the big things that contributed to the audience feeling uneasy about Dom was that we knew, we knew him as Dom, we didn't know his real name. We didn't know what he looked like. All we had to go off was Foodie's horrible stories about him and, and watching her crying on live streams. Foodie though, whether she meant to or not, I still can't tell, would reveal his uh, real name during our live. Yeah, now you guys are gonna say his name. I'm gonna be in trouble. It's so hard being a YouTuber and having a love, like keeping your love life secret, especially when you go on live and talk about it all day. We still didn't know what he looked like. Still hadn't seen a, a video or, or a photo of him. But we would get the next best thing. Sort of. I can't do the nose right. <laughs> okay, go. Hey, somebody make this an emoji for the Discord. <laughs> Foodie would always tell us, it's just a casual thing, guys. Nothing to worry about. But we knew it wasn't a, a casual thing. I think for Dom it was, but not for not for Foodie. Like him telling me about his past sexual experience as an example of something. I don't like hearing about it. She definitely didn't give off casual vibes uh, on one live stream where Dom wasn't messaging or, or calling her back. No, there's no other lady in the picture. There would just be comments that would pop up where I'd think, are they trying to get Foodie to do something stupid? And every time, Foodie would do something stupid. Like you're not thinking of me if you're not thinking of me to call me back. Like what could be, what could be the reason you can't even answer your phone? Amy Flowers, you shouldn't ever leave your weed there. I'd order more weed and forget the rest. Or go over there and see if he's really there and get your stuff and go. Amy Flowers, I'm honestly tempted to go over there right now. But be like, is there a girl there? I'm not going over there. I'm not gonna go over. go get some stuff and then cry myself to sleep wake up and hopefully still be mad like I am now <laughs> I feel so dumb I didn't get any weed I went by his house I wanted to see if he was home no, like, I don't think anyone was home. I don't, I don't know. Like, he has his room, which was dark, but I mean, if you're in the room with somebody, it's going to be dark. I didn't hear any noise. Um, his kitchen light was on. The door was locked. I tried the door. I'm like, please be open so I can break in and get my sh I want to, I know that's illegal, but I don't even know what I'm crying about. I didn't even want a relationship, and that's why I'm crying. And now I'm all hung up on somebody. Probably, I don't even know if we're even right for each other. I'm so stressed out. Sorry, I was just finishing off drawing what, uh, what my partner looks like. You get that? Camera get that? Anyway, all that um, all that panic from Foodie, driving to his house, looking through his window, trying, trying his door. All that panic was for absolutely nothing. He'd simply gone out with some friends, nothing to worry about. He definitely wasn't seeing any other women. He said he was like, with his, his guy friends, like his friends from like Egypt or whatever, that came to see him, he was there, they were playing cards and stuff, and he loves playing cards. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'll never know if it's really true or not. It's not true. There. I've solved it for you. Knowing he wasn't too bothered about her made all her gushing uh, even more cringy to watch. Do I love him? I, I do. Oh my god. Purple Mermaid. I, I'm, I'm starting to. I'm, I'm starting to be in love with him. If he asked you to marry him, what would I say? No. Oh, 
Well, I don't know. Are you guys official? It's complicated. She would be on stream saying how much she liked him and talking about the sex life in great detail, even though he'd already told her, stop, shut up. But like all lol cows, although I think food is the worst for it, she's just got zero self-control. I like finger and mouth play with my grubby fingers with the crusty nail polish. <laughs> how much mouth play we have in our relationship, the mouth is very sensual. Did I ever tell you I picked my nose once and then he put my finger in his mouth before I could say anything? <laughs> I'm just waiting for his reaction and he was like... <laughs> She's so gross. Is this normal? I don't watch a lot of uh, vloggers and YouTubers. I've watched plenty of Amber and I'm starting to watch more of uh, a foodie, obviously. But is it normal to just hear people share every detail of their life? to a bunch of strangers online. Oh, here's a story about how I plowed last night. Okay. Oh, here's a story about how I shat my pants. All right, thank you. I'm going into this foodie series with a little bit of knowledge already. People tell me what to look out for, keep an eye out for this, you won't believe what happens here, I know little bits. But I didn't realize this next bit happened. So it was a, it was a shock to me and it was definitely a a shock to foodie. What's the problem for not officially together? Because he lied to me. Because somebody was catfishing him, Brooklyn, and posted the screenshots. Apparently Kiwi Farms has screenshots of uh, face. His, it, it didn't look like it to me, but the screenshots of his combo look legit. And he was, he told another girl that sent him nudies that he like lied to me like this whole time, super lied. I'm not getting back with him guys. You're not gonna let me. Drive his stuff over while you're on live so you've got everyone here to support you. This is gonna be it. For real. Once those clothes are dropped, it's uh, finito for you. This is it. This is it, girls. Hey. I, don't, I don't need help. I'm fine. I mean, I'm, I brought dropped it off. Good. Bye. I'm good now. I'm done. I know you don't believe me. But I am. Like, you have the nerve to ask a woman to do your laundry. He didn't ask me to, I offered, but... Or did I? I don't remember. But anyway, it's just like... What are you doing while I'm doing these things for you? You're, like, disrespecting me behind my back? Once again, she was egged on by a, a fans to, uh, to do something stupid. But the main thing I took from this little episode of hers was that she was doing his laundry. He's having sex with her, and probably other women. She's doing his laundry, and she still isn't his girlfriend. Foodie man. Just when I think you can't get any more pathetic. Oh, here's your laundry, sir. Can we be a couple now? A back massage or a, or a hot chocolate, perhaps? Perhaps if I kiss your feet. <laughs> the desperation coming through that screen. Ugh. Oh, actually, speaking of pathetic, I was talking to some guys. <laughs> I'm so bad. Because I'm talking to a really cute, really cute, completely French guy. Lives by himself, has a good job, has a car. Is so smart and cute and looks smart and cute and he's French. He's six foot six, he's a billionaire, he breathes fire, and he poops gold. Mm. Foodie man! Could you be any more transparent? I have to message that guy and be like, I can't see you. I don't want to see you anymore. <laughs> I was just using you to make someone jealous. To be fair to Foodie, I did feel something when I found out uh, Dom had been messaging other women. My husband! So after she dropped his clothes off, we got the usual, I'm done guys, I'm never going back. But then she started talking about this French guy and this Indian guy and, oh, I've got a date next week. And I thought, hmm, have you? Have you though? Then I saw her getting all dolled up on a live stream, like she used to when she would go over to Dom's house. And I thought, you're back with Dom. You're just too scared to tell your audience. And yep, yeah. I did continue to see Dom after. So whenever I found out that message and I went absolutely nuts and brought his laundry back, 
I was supposed to stop seeing him and I had it in my mind that that was gonna happen. At this point, I think I realized like I'm in love with this guy. Like, I just, I'm sorry for lying to you guys. It wasn't my intention. I fully knew it. I'm like, I'm gonna lie to them because, because I didn't want to tell you. Foodie lied to our audience. I, I need a glass of water. <laughs> People were, were always worried anytime Foodie went over to, to Dom's house. One, because he sounded very aggressive. Uh, and two, all of the drugs. And the more and more live streams I watched, the more under the influence she seemed. It was to the point where every live I was watching, it looked like she'd been beezing. Did I use that right? Beezing? And guess what? This is my show, and if I'm gonna be on it, you're either gonna watch or leave. Admittedly, I'm no expert when it comes to beezing, so I would show the clips I was watching to, to people and say, is she high here? And every time they'd go, yes, of course she is. But even I could tell on this next live stream, she was away with the fairies. It sounds like there's someone at my door. I swear, do you hear the thumping? You don't hear the thumping? I swear, I'm not, I'm not playing. Hey! 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 Come out now! Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> Trouble tonight. No, open the door. I don't want to be sure. Uh, please. Wow, what a shot. Nobody out here. Did you see what happened? I saw you off your tits. That's what I saw. I thought a taken was, was starting to get out of hand. A lot of people did, but it wasn't a problem. Foodie knew what she was doing, so just back off, everybody. And me, back off me as well. Everyone back off. Why do you guys think I'm going to do c I'm not, I told you. Denaya. No, I'm I prom I'm not on any kind of bad so I don't know what people are hearing. I'm not doing any blow. Jeez. Falling into drugs. I'm high all the time, there's nothing you can do about it. If you don't like it, don't watch my channel. It's not your f business. I'm gonna get hot like whenever I want to. It's my Life. No, I'm not saying criticism is shaming, but saying things like What are you doing? You're always high blah 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 like stuff like that or I can't take this This is I can't be here for this watching you do this to yourself and stuff like that. Like that's sh like that's shaming It's belittling You're right foodie. It is belittling. I'm, I'm glad you said something well done all these bloody people concerned about your well-being Just because you're on drugs every stream <sighs> So what if sometimes you can't see straight? So what if you slur in your words all the time? So what if you think an intruder has entered the house and you have to go pester Pete's with your bull Can you just back off guys, right? Just back off. She's got this under control. Don't you foodie? I'm pretty sure. That I'm addicted to c I just feel really alone and I don't know what to do. Honestly, I don't. Trying to go through the day and just like, be normal but, and cook and everything, but I just can't. I just don't want to. <laughs> I'm so sorry. She had actual fans. She had people supporting her, saying, Don't go back to Dom, he's, he's a danger. And she'd just say, Oh, they'd say, Don't. Don't go back to him, he's gonna get you addicted to drugs, you're gonna be a mess with and again. I don't want her addicted to drugs. I guess we're all human and it's it's dead easy to let certain things get out of control. None of us are perfect. I didn't like how she spoke to her audience though, I didn't like that. Kicking off with your haters, 
fine. I get you. Well, I, I get why she would do that, but kicking off with people who support you, not a good look. But I still didn't want her to slowly wither away and die because of that crap. Nobody wants that. That's not a fun watch for anybody. I actually flushed the rest of what I had in the toilet. This is the drawer it was in. Oh, my vibrator. Sorry. I'm sorry about that. Before I started episode three, people told me things. Uh, one of which was that Dom had somebody. Yay. Dom has openly said, yeah, I've, I've been to jail. And it looked like Foodie knew about it as well. Victim, and that is the one who got stabbed. But this Delphine woman died in 2019 of supposed natural causes. I don't know, he was like in prison in 2019, saying it's self-defense. Actually, I heard his probation officer was on speaker once and he was like, who heard me laughing, he's like, is that a woman in the background? And he was like, kind of sounded concerned that there was a woman there. He was like, does she know about it? like Delphine? And I was like, that's when I was like, who's that? But it didn't say anything because I see, it's kind of didn't want to know. Like, I just wanted to live in denial because I was having fun. It seems to be a given, yeah, Dom stabbed somebody. But without proof, I can't say, yes, he stabbed somebody, and it wasn't self-defense. There just isn't proof of that. Just like there was no proof that Foodie put her sister in the dryer. But I wouldn't be shocked if it, if it did happen. The stabbed, not the sister in the dryer. Although I wouldn't be shocked if that happened either. He said I put my sister in the dryer. It never happened. Yeah, it's full of BS. That's why I don't bother watching those things. And it's because of Foodie that us, the internet, has been subjected to, to Dom. She helped him set up his, his rubbish YouTube channel to make these uh, cooking videos. She got him an iPad to help upload videos. I'm not going to be using any clips from Dom's channel, which I hear has been demonetized now anyway. Couldn't have happened to a nicer blog. Hopefully this video here doesn't make you curious and make you want to go and check out his channel i don't think anybody should want to want to help him in any way even a single view there are a couple of clips but they're from foodie's uh, channel and they don't show his really attractive face they just show his hands uh there's, there's one way he's, he's doing this rubbish magic trick that foodie's just blown away by oh my god <laughs> did you guys see that foodie if you like magic tricks I've got a magic trick for you. I'm gonna make your career disappear. And it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't bad. Have any of you like ever been in a relationship? I feel like I have some trauma from it. Just wondering, I guess, if what I went through was something like that. At this point, they'd been seeing each other for about three months-ish. So still super early for a relationship. Relationship. And we've already gotten to, have any of you been in a relationship? Video was following. I'd hear her talking about, oh, we might be moving in together. And meanwhile, she's telling her audience stuff like this. And I've never heard a YouTuber say anything like this. Ever. I just want to say, I don't want to scare you guys, but I need your help that if I know that you guys know my address, you don't have to send, don't, don't, please don't call the cops or anything, please. Let's just bees. But if. I ever say I want to give a sign if I ever give a sign that please 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 call okay okay uh, safe word what should it be though because I don't want to accidentally say it one day that's the problem has to be something we will not accidentally do because calling authorities when they're not needed is very serious lavender sage paper clips Yes. 
Okay, paper clips. So if I ever yell paper clips, you know why. Or if I just, I don't know. You you know what I mean? I'd be like paper clips. Paper clips. <laughs> I need to get paper clips from the store. Foodie told the audience, if I ever say a paper clip, call the police. But then a stream or two later, she'd just be back online, kicking off with the audience and channels for not liking Dom. Do I have to go strike channels for being Seriously. And somehow, her telling the audience, here's me code word in case I get mad, wasn't the maddest thing said in that live stream. And he said some. He said one time, like he said something really scary one time. He said, "Call the cops," because I had, like threatened the cops before. He's like, "Call the cops! I have time to you before they get here." And he's right. You know what's crazy? She didn't leave him after all this. Or I can pass along a message now. Apparently. Yes. Okay, uh, hold on a second. Uh, Chantal just came back home. Uh, I've got to go down. Hey, everybody. Uh, sorry about that. Um, Chantal's having some, uh, bit of an emotional, uh, day right now. A bit of an emotional breakdown right now. Remember when I said, um, <laughs> between Amber and Foodie? Neither, uh, uh more stupid than the other. They're both thick in their own separate ways. I paid his rent. Boy, did I get that wrong. Foodie has to be the dumbest lol cow I've ever covered or seen or anything. And I've made videos on Cyrax. You'll never call the cops. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, what's the number? I've come to realise that no matter who Foodie's with, it doesn't matter how Pooley, the treater. She's never going to be the one to, to end the relationship. I just want to be loved. I just want someone to love me, like, like they can't go without me. She gave us a code word in case he does her. He said I can kill you before the cops get here. And she still didn't leave him. And guess what she did after telling us that? Have a guess. She rocked up on another live stream with Dom, united. Them against the world. Well, them against the French fried girl. It's very it's simple. It's not your problem, you don't talk about me. Whatever who talk is not your problem. Yeah. If somebody himself, you go idiot. Just be gentle. And I, 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 I want you to leave me alone. Don't talk about me. <laughs> you want her to be happy? Go talk to her. Don't talk to me. Don't talk about me. What a charming fellow he seems. Lovely, just lovely. Yes, Dom was in the background ranting and raving, maybe they are perfect for each other, uh, ranting and raving about uh, French Fried Girl, uh, another YouTuber, because she dared speak out against Dom. She dared utter his great name. So anyway, on uh, on Dom's behalf, because he doesn't speak English very well, the one flawed and otherwise perfect man, uh, uh, Foodie, nearly said Amber there, <laughs> Foodie uh, was messaging French Fried Girl on, on his behalf. Why are you lying about me? I know it's you. You said you don't know me, but you are spreading lies all over the internet about me. I will have you charged with for harassment if you don't delete the videos of me. You said I knew your friend, and I never did. Your accusations are serious. This is people's lives you are messing with. And then she wrote, listen, when we found out about you, people started talking about you. I told your girlfriend what I heard about you and told her privately to protect herself. That's another thing, FFG. Our relationship is not your relationship. I think, like, you... I don't know what it is, like it might remind you, I don't know what, but like, it's not, you know, you need to worry about your life. How dare you, French fried girl? Messaging foodie beauty, telling it to protect herself. What gives you the right to do that? It's like, call the cops, I have time to kill you before they get here. Carry on. Um, I've always said that your private life is not my business to talk about. I only talk about what she says about you. The address everyone has for you did not come from me either. It came from Kiwi Farms. No one ever showed that on YouTube. I used to be with a man just like you. He treated me like he took my money too. I left him. You are worse to Chantal than he was to me, and one day she will open her eyes. Until then, we are all watching Chantal, looking for the signs of a... Yeah. She's not the worst. She, she don't say one word about me. 
<laughs> yeah, everyone is watching. So yeah, exactly. I already said that I would never say these things on YouTube. I have not harassed anybody. So like the fact that I talk about him gives you the right to talk and add stuff. You know what I mean? She nuts. Guess it gives French fried girl the right to talk about it. Gives anybody the right to talk about it. Yes. Um, your girlfriend should stop talking about you. It's very simple. She can say, if it's my boyfriend, I can talk about him. Mm, wasn't your boyfriend though, was he? We weren't ever like, I know I said like, yeah, we were official, but we weren't like official because... <clears throat> Boom! Sucks to be you. No, oh, she doesn't life, know him, my, but my she knows all about him and that he, 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 he all his history, uh, everything. Like, you know, like, give me a break. Did you see me beat up somebody? Did you see me taking drugs? How the hell did she go from baby, lovely quiet baby, to red flag man? Red flag man? Hello, you've clearly got some uh, anger issues. You need to just calm your tits. Foodie, you need to learn to stop showing your tits. <coughs> Many people think what Foodie did next was on purpose. It's definitely on purpose. This is the conversation, can you see? All right, she's telling everyone over there, acting big, big and bad, that she told him to off. Let's see any of that. And. Do any of you see anything about telling anybody to f off? Um, however... Oh sh that's her number. I showed her number, I'm so sorry! I actually showed her number. Okay. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I showed her number. She gave her number out to thousands of people on a live stream. And she gave French Fry Girl's number to Dom? She's either incredibly c**ty or just stupid. I'll let you pick foodie. Do you want to be stupid or c**ty? Like Morpheus. Which one are you picking foodie? Weird that I didn't feel comfortable doing like a position or something and I was, I don't know, anyway, and just like shoved me like, he like punched my arm or something. And then like, I, I was like, what? Did he, like, actually, like, punch my arm? Like, you know? And then all of a sudden, I just felt like something, like, like he grabbed my face really hard and was, like, pinching it. Then he, like, flicked his cigarette at me. And then, like, I felt like something, like, hard in my face. I, I didn't see him hit me, but, like, I feel like punching me in the arms a bunch of times. I hate to say, like, like you guys are right about like whenever like and then he like I felt like just like he hit me in my face like so hard that I just like I like fell back and like I was like crying and then I felt like blood she didn't want to do a position she didn't feel comfortable with so he pushed her allegedly he, he grabbed her face Pinched her face really hard. Allegedly. Punched her in the arm a bunch of times. Allegedly. Hit her in the face. Made her bleed. Allegedly. If only, if only somebody had warned Foodie what he was like. Maybe somebody like French Fried Girl. Maybe somebody like Pulpy. All the reaction channels, all your fans, everybody. Family, friends, Pete's, everybody. So up until this point. Full transparency, guys. Full transparency. Up until this point. I still felt something again. I don't think you can watch a, a woman being a, a Allegedly. I'll be saying that a lot. Allegedly by a man. Or anybody. By anybody. Um, and not feel something. Uh, she, foodie's nothing. She, she's, she's not a thing to me. But I'm still like, ugh. I'm still seeing somebody, you know. So I, I felt something for her. However, uh, all that sympathy, empathy from me, empathy born, all that gone after I heard her say this. Actually got in a car accident. I was driving with him and I was bawling distraught because that was the day he was here and he yeah, was being so really I was aggressive. bawling because he was like being a f like, And he was like, where's the lighter? And I was like looking at my push fog lighter and then like the car ahead of me, I didn't, I didn't stop in time and I hit her. And I was bawling and she must have felt bad for me and she was like, it's okay. 
If Foodie wants to make poor decisions, to f up her sh excuse of her life. Fill your boots, mate. Go nuts. But when her stupid decisions start affecting, negatively affecting, innocent people, then get in the bin. <laughs> Just, you've got no right to risk anybody else's safety. No right at all. A, a woman was driving the car, she hit somebody else's car. And I was thinking, oh, what if, what if there was kids in the car? What if, well, anybody in the car, really. But, you know, what if there's a baby in the car? You know what's mad? Even if she did hit a car with a baby in it and kill the baby, she'd still have fans. The fans who support her now will, would it still have supported Well, why was the baby in there? It was late. Should have been asleep in its cot. How many times had reaction channels? Everybody. But I was, I was thinking of Pulpy specifically. Um, how many times had, had he warned her about distracted driving? And everybody. But how many times had, had she been told about distracted driving? And I've no doubt she was high as a kite as well. Because every time she went over to Dom's, every time she saw him, there were bees and Bees and There were bees in together. So I've no doubt she was high as a kite. Can't prove that. Just like I can't prove the sister in a dryer. Oh, did I mention that again? Sorry. Um, like, reaction channels. And I'm thinking of Pulpy specifically because I just watched a, a clip of him unhappy with her driving. Um... Pulpy's not pretending to be appalled when Foodie's not paying attention to the road. She could have killed somebody. She hit somebody else's car. Ugh. You cannot risk anybody else's safety because you're a moron. Just can't do it. Just because she's so pathetic. She's desperate for any man to show her any attention that this alleged scumbag does. And that's good enough for her. And it's, it's risking other people's Lives? Not good, foodie. Me and you are gonna fall out, mate. There are, like, naked videos. Like, there are videos because I caught him, like, recording without me knowing about it once. So I just kind of like, well... It's kind of sexy, you know? He's like, I'll d delete them right now if you want. Like, he acts like, you know what I mean? But... I don't know. Absolutely embarrassing. And how many other women has he done this with? Allegedly. If if he did it with her. My lawyers have told me to say. And I know Foodie's gonna use a, a line of Well it takes it takes people on average eight times uh, to leave a No. Shut up. Stop. You knew exactly what he was from day one. Day two he's dangerous, day three he's dangerous, he's a red flag by week one. He sounded like the worst person I've ever had any interaction with. He sounded horrendous. So don't give me this nonsense of, oh, it takes people eight... No, you knew exactly what he was like. You weren't trapped. You had the, you had the power to leave. You had the independence to leave. You had, the, you had the financials to leave. You had support from thousands of people. You didn't wake up one morning after years and years and think, oh my god, I'm in a relationship. How did I let that happen? You didn't wake up after months or weeks. It was straight away you knew what he was like. This didn't creep up on you. You knew exactly what he was. So if you use that line, it takes people, in your BMI voice, it takes people eight times. <laughs> there's a reason, instead of the Olympics or whatever I was going to call it, there's a reason I've called this episode pathetic. Okay, people keep asking me, like, are we official? What does that mean? That's a title. So we should just say yes right now, right? Mm -hmm. Official. We're a couple. We're in a relationship, right? Yeah. Anything? <laughs> He's not sure if I... And you know she's gonna come out with... He's victim shaming. You know what? I bet part two is gonna be victim shaming because I can tell the tone. He's just listening to haters as his, like, credible sources of information. Please, it's all crap. He's victim shaming. No, I'm not. I'm just stupid, Sherman. Big difference, marry him. I just f***ing left him at the pharmacy to with his f***ing STD prescription. It's like, I literally just left him at the pharmacy with no phone. He has my bank card, but I locked it before I left. Oh my god! 
Like, I was going to pay for his gonorrhea medication. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Where to start here? <laughs> Dom screamed in Foodie's face because... Who cares? Who cares? He does it all the time. Who cares? Screamed it in her face, so she left him at the pharmacy. Red Flag Man was seeing other women caught an STD. Foodie got up early to drive him there <laughs> and to pay for his medication. God, every time I think... All right, that's the stupidest thing she's ever gonna do. Please, sir, let me pay for your medication. Here's my bank card. Oh, would you like an, a new iPhone? Here you go. Is it locked with like a face? So this phone will be garbage, but it's my phone. Would sir like some new shoes? Like, why are you gonna steal them when I'm gonna, like I'm paying, you're not paying, what do you care? The only way a foodie could keep red flag man around was to pay for everything, be as, as sugar mama. Did I use that right? You're gonna need that money for rent because I'm not paying it anymore for you. Especially when I'm fucking, you're, I'm supporting you. I can't believe she ever thought, we're in love. Oh, please let me pay for your STD medication. I don't know why I've made up British. What, uh, what, what's the appeal? What's the appeal of Dom? Oh my God. Uh, yeah, he can cook and that's about it. So that's it, he can cook. So can a microwave? You wouldn't fall in love with that if it said nice things to you. Maybe foodie would. Can microwaves talk yet? I don't know. <laughs> Sounds like something that's a thing. I mean, I've heard of like getting yeast infections from being like not clean, but gonorrhea. I don't know. That's like... <laughs> foodie man! What planet are you living on? He told her... <laughs> if you've got an STD, it's not because I've been cheating. It's because you're... Help us out. Lady parts uh, are dirty. Oh, what a, what a master manipulator he is. Is he? Or are you just a bit... Oh, missed me head there. <laughs> so you know what she did? She bought perfume for a... I should have went with lady parts. Dom was having relations. Nice way of putting it. Dom was having relations with other women. Fruity knew this and she carried on also having her relations uh, with him. So what do you think happened? Listen, he gave me gonorrhea in my throat, you f Because I've honestly been very honest about my struggles. I mean, I've told you about my friggin' addiction. I've told you I have gonorrhea. I don't know how much more open I can be. So what's the deal with gonorrhea? What's the deal with gonorrhea? Are you trying out for a stand-up career? What? What's the deal with gonorrhea? Hey, what's the deal with airplane food? Fruity man! Stop trying to find reasons why he didn't plow, or well, plow this time, why he didn't plow with the women. An STD means it can only be transmitted by sex, right? <laughs> Fruity man. Sexually transmitted disease. You can only get it through sex, right? No, you can get it through holding hands too tight. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have got here. The clinic called. They swabbed my throat and I came back positive for the STD. I have a lot of mixed emotions. I'm going to be taking an antibiotic. Just one pill, apparently. I feel confused. I'm not sure where this came from. He denies any cheating, and I know I didn't. And without proof, what can I do? F*** off. You, you can't be this dumb. You can't. She always says, dumb. He was able to trick me. He's, he's a master manipulator. He's so smart. Is he? Or is it just you being so thick? Anyways, I'm not trying to defend my choices. Yes, I'm stupid. I bet. I bet I could get Foodie to believe anything I wanted. Absolutely anything. Uh, Mr. Cardigan and uh, Dweeb Flake aren't the same person. It's two separate people. Uh, oh, hello, Dweeb hello Flake. Hello, Mr. Snowflake. What, uh, what are we watching today, Mr. Snowflake? Uh, Mr. Cardigan. Oh, I'm just uh, making a video about Foodie Beauty. Foodie Beauty? Yes, isn't she the one who provided a fake alibi to her boyfriend so people wouldn't believe that he was a racist? Yes, Dweeb Flake. Yes, it is. With these big videos I make, I like to end them on something big. Big event. 
The whole episode's been leading to something uh, that's massive. I don't think it gets much more massive than this. A woman filmed herself in her car. I won't play it. But filmed herself in her car. Really, really upset, crying. Accusing Dom of uh, SA. Plenty of people won't believe the woman. Um, accusing Dom. Plenty of people will. I know one person who believed uh, the woman when it happened. She needs to, like... She needs to call the cops. I hope she's doing okay too. That's, I can't even imagine like somebody, like especially somebody so vulnerable. I just want to puke. I don't know. Like he just said that it was one of his fans and that she was like a seven year old woman. And he was like, she's just mad. He said, she's just mad at me because she wanted to have sex with me. And I said, no. And she threatened to like, um, say that, that stuff or something like that you're already setting it up in my mind because he would say i already told you about this i already told you about this no you told me your fast ass uh version of it which doesn't make any sense and your screenshot actually makes you look worse like showing that you talked to her on video for 14 minutes about what you know like oh my god i hate myself right now seriously like you're right if he told you before she came out you know it's just, then he was already in damage control yeah because the way he had like admitted, like, oh, she said she was gonna threaten this. So, I was surprised by the allegations. Yeah, I was sh well, I was shocked. Like, but a part of me was like, why is it so easy to believe? Like, because he's that, like, because I know deep down he's probably that type of person. Like, well, now we know he is. I don't even know what to say. I am beyond disgusted and horrified and overwhelmed. And all of this information coming to forefront, i.e. Red Flag Man. My heart hurts for the poor woman who came forward and revealed what horrible things were done to her. I am so sorry this happened to you and I am so sorry for asking to see proof that this was all not true because it chills me to the bone to think that someone I gave so much of myself to could ever do something like this. I am cancelling my trip, I am buying a new CPAP today and I am done. I know it was said legal action was in the works. I am relieved. The trip um, Foodie was talking about there was her and uh, Dom were meant to be going to Toronto. Obviously, wasn't happening now. I honestly feel like just if I don't go to Toronto, I lose half the money for the hotel. Hmm? What's that? The woman who accused uh, Red Flag Man said he had this pill bottle. He was drinking out of a pill bottle. Foodie said, yeah, he, he had that pill bottle. He bought something before, like we got something before, like, I don't know, he had something that was like a, around the time that we were doing all that bad stuff, it was like in a bottle, but like a, it was liquid. The woman also said he used this phrase with her, which Foodie said, yeah, he also used that phrase with her. Yeah, he has said like, Pound pussy, I've heard him say that. Yeah. Foodie asked Dom for proof this didn't happen. And Dom wasn't interested in showing the proof. When I asked him for proof that he didn't, he didn't give me any. I said, show me proof. Even saying just to bait him to do it. Show me right now the entire conversation. And if you are, if you're innocent, I'll come over right now and I'll freaking, you know? Like. Anyway, Dom couldn't have done it according to Foodie. He said he like said he didn't want to meet her or he couldn't meet her or something because like we were together like we were we were together like pretty much the whole time so i don't know where he would have had time to okay the woman flew in on the 17th stayed at the airport on the 17th 18th stayed the whole day had a hotel room and then left on the 19th of october uh, 2021 Foodie streamed on the 17th, no sign of Dom. She streamed on her own, no sign of him in the background or anything. She streamed on the 18th for nearly six hours. Guess who wasn't in the video or in the background making noise anything? Just on her own again. And then she, uh, she deleted the streams. 
Maybe for different reasons, I don't know. But it's very suspicious when you say, I was with him the whole time. People go, your streams prove you weren't. What streams? Okay. Anyway, there's no way he did it because he had proof that he, he didn't do it. But he said he had all the conversation between them to prove that he didn't go. But I asked him to send it to me and he just was like, you really believe that? I said, I just want to see it. If you have nothing to hide, send me the proof. And he just hung up on me. So... <laughs> oh, well, that's not suspicious at all, is it? I've got proof. I've got loads of proof. Can I see it? Hello? Dom, you've gone, mate. Hello? He didn't deny going to the hotel. He didn't deny going to the hotel. Um... But he said he had all the conversation between them to prove that he didn't go. He didn't deny going to the hotel. October 17th, the night she was at the hotel, I was at Dom's. So no, he did not meet up with her, and that is why she is salty. I am not making excuses for what happened in our relationship, but falsely accusing someone of is beyond serious and disgusting. Are you listening, Amber? Okay, so she was definitely with him. He couldn't have gone to the hotel. Got it. They had a meeting, unbeknownst to me. Wait. I thought he didn't go to the hotel. Now he's having meetings with her. He did lie to me about that. He didn't tell me that he went to see her at the hotel. He never told me that, ever. He didn't tell her that he went to the hotel. But why would he need to tell her if she was with him the whole time? I don't know if he did it or not. All I know is that his behaviour right after it apparently happened was completely normal. It was just yesterday we were talking about, like, getting married. Like, you want to marry me? And I said yes. And prove to me you love me, crawl on your hands and knees, naked. Kiss my feet. I didn't want to do the crawly thing, so no. But I did, yeah. I kissed his feet. <sighs> He's very horny for a man who's just been accused of rape, isn't he? What the hell's that about? Oh, this woman's just said that I at her. Can you kiss me feet real quick? Eh? <laughs> what? <sighs> oh, is this real, man? Crawl on the floor and, and kiss me feet. And she did? <laughs> what the f See why this episode's called Pathetic now? I know I'm, I'm being a bit silly, but in all honesty, <laughs> Dom isn't the type of guy to to do that to a woman. I didn't feel comfortable doing like a position or something and I was, I don't know, anyway, and just like shoved me like, he like punched my arm or something. Oh yeah, I forgot he allegedly punched Foodie when she wouldn't do this thing. But to be fair, I mean, that's, Foodie's known to lie and that's only her account. It's not like there's a written proof that he's a danger to women. You f your name when you hit me. Do you understand? Do you understand you hurt my cat and now she hates you? Do you understand all the money I've given you? Do you understand you have anger problem? We can't be together. I need to focus on myself. You need to take responsibility for yourself now. That's Foodie's message to Dom. And Dom replies, I will, and I will take my right. If you don't call me and fix what you did, so you are my enemy forever. Delphine number two. Delphine number two. Oh yeah, I forgot he uh, allegedly st a woman. Look, I know she's mentioned violence with Dom, but she's never talked about SA type violence. Never, like, okay, so what's her face said, the person in this case said that he, the minute he got in the hotel, he shoved her on the bed. Give me your kitty. Number one, it, like, I've never known him to be like that. Like, he never just, like, shoved me and, like, okay, take it. You know, like, no, and not unless it was consensual in that way. No. He did do things that made me uncomfortable and like really pushed my boundaries and didn't respect them a lot, but I was, I, I didn't feel like I really evaluated the situation, what happened between us sexually, and I decided to go with it. It wasn't sexual assault for me because it just really didn't feel like sexual assault in my, like it felt more just like we were drunk and just being like pushy and stupid, you know? What did you say? I decided it was- I decided 
it wasn't sexual. Say it again. He did do things that made me uncomfortable and like really pushed my boundaries and didn't respect them a lot, but I was, I, I didn't feel like I really evaluated the situation, what happened between us sexually, and I decided to go with it. It wasn't sexual for me because it just really didn't feel like sexual assault in my, like it felt more just like we were drunk and just being like pushy and stupid, you know? Uh. Her story has more holes than Swiss cheese. She's full of sh Obviously, I hope nothing did happen, but I really just, she wants attention from this. Otherwise she would not be, I'm gonna lead up in this and I'm doing videos. She wouldn't be doing that. Sorry, he's a lot of things. And yes, he was in a lot of ways, but not to that degree. So I, I don't know. I'm like, why did you go? He's like, I shouldn't have gone. I'm like, you should not have gone to that hotel at all, at all. Yeah, that's not gonna look good for him too either because all of my stories. <laughs> I'm not victim shaming me. I'm saying I'm not saying nothing happened. I don't know. You guys don't love him. I've seen his good side, and I fell in love with him for a reason. So basically, when she wants to be in a relationship with Dom, didn't do it. That woman's a liar. And when she's hating him, yeah, maybe he did it. We don't know, do we? She's nice. Are you enjoying the video? Apparently, after like she sent messages. Apparently, after the day that it happened, according to her. She's messaging him, accusing him of rejecting her, and she's gonna, like, go after him and all this other shit. So, like, she's just very, she's just, like, her credibility to me is just, like, if you want my opinion on the situation, that's my opinion. To me, she's just a crazy old woman looking for clout, and that's so my wait opinion. A minute, wait, just, a minute, wait, 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 and then he had plans or something. I don't even know. I don't remember. I'm so f grossed out. If they did anything, I'm grossed out. Obviously, denial. I don't want to. I don't want to think that I would ever love someone like that. That could do that. I can't. You came home and cooked and later went back to his house. You said he had a date. Really? We don't know what happened. You know what I mean? She's bang on. She's right. We don't know what happened. So why is she coming on here? Saying this woman's lying. Why, why are you mocking this woman? I'm gonna lead up in this and I'm doing videos. The, the case is in the court now, while I'm filming this. So we don't know what the outcome is yet. What if the outcome is, yes, he's, he's found guilty of that. Foodie's then gonna be on camera, officially mocking an SA victim. Is that the worst thing that we see? Uh, mocking a, an alleged, SA victim, tell me that's the, the worst it gets. Comment below, does it get worse? She said it was YouTube channel. She introduced him to the audience. And he met this woman because of his YouTube channel. Great job, foodie. Another smart decision. He was a danger. He was a red flag. He was aggressive. I know, I'll set up a YouTube channel and introduce him to more women. Mint, well done. So I, I, I don't know if he did it or not. I guess that's that's not my job. That's that's the court's job. It's definitely, uh, definitely not my job. My job's a lot easier. I just have to figure out, did Foodie lie about this to protect her dealer? Yeah. Right, we've uh, we've come to the end. I think we. Could all deal with it ending there. After the last episode, uh, I needed a bit of a break from Foodie's face. So I made videos on the uh, second channel, on Under the Hood. Go subscribe. I made videos, what did I make? I made cat news. Uh, I just made silly stuff that was nice. Um, although I made a video on OJ Simpson as well. Imagine making a video on OJ Simpson. That's my break from Foodie Beauty. What's going on? I'm not having a break this time, uh, I've started on episode 4 already, because from the looks of it, uh, I need to finish the series before she dies. Before I go, I need to thank some YouTube channels. Uh, Meander and Thoughts, so many clips uh, from that channel I used. Without that channel, I wouldn't have an, an episode 3, so thank you very much, everybody. Pop over, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, 
Yeah, there wouldn't have been an episode three without that channel. Uh, barbecue chicken as well. Uh, I watched a lot of to catch up on the law. Uh, just saying, just saying, really helpful for that as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. So um, thanks to those channels. Couldn't have made this episode without them. So thank you very much, everybody. Go, go subscribe. It's mad, isn't it? The last episode we ended on her having sympathy for predators. This episode. We've ended on her lying about where her boyfriend was. So people didn't think he was a, you know. I've no idea what we're going to end uh, episode four on. I'll discover foodie beauty. Uh, was pen pals with Hitler? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Spoilers. We all know she ends up with Salah. But what's mad is... I've got no doubt if Dom called her up and said, Leave him. Let's be together. Let's get married. She'd blow off that fake marriage. And she'd go and be with Dom straight away. She'd be on a plane straight away. I can't prove that. That's just speculation. I can't prove it. Like the sister in the dryer thing. Why do I keep mentioning that? Sorry, foodie. Sorry. I know it annoys you. Hopefully you can carry on being a, a better person. Like I keep hearing you say these days that you're a better person now so hopefully you can carry that on i don't know how long that's gonna last because it, it looks like you've uh, you've already got one foot in the grave oh baby are your feet working is that the diabetes stay alive till i finish the series will you i keep finding clips of you saying you're a good person now i haven't seen any examples of you being a good person maybe in episode four i'll find them in between cuba rage and cat maybe somewhere in there i'll uh, i'll find it right I'm going to stop rambling. I'm off to, uh, to have a shower and wash the foodiness off me. Um, and I'll see you all in episode four. Um, yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye, bye.